Greetings, Code Traders. It's Wednesday, July 25th, 2018. The news has come out eight minutes ago and made a big move up here. It's not quite moved up 100 ticks, but uh, I'd say about 80 ticks or so, which is a good move up on a news day. And uh, what I am going to do is take the news day entry, which is basically a part of both the code one and the code two system of trading that I discovered and developed and it's just going to be one entry today now it's just a pending it just a matter of how many ticks we can get from that entry lately the entry has been good for a hundred ticks and it is possible we could get that today however what I'd be expecting to happen here is you see how it looks like it's green it looks like it's going it broke the high right there looks like it's going to go up it's probably not going to do that it's probably going to go all the way back down and come down and go red yep and come down and go red right now I am looking for a Newsday entry on this trade and as soon as it comes and I take it I will come back I am going to bump this up to 100 ticks. Let's go for one dollar here. 100 ticks. All right. You got a do dollar set on the buy limit and then the sell limit, which is the exit order. This is the stop order, buy stop and the sell stop. Okay chart is starting to form to make a newsday entry for you charting or for you code traders it looks perfect it looks as bad as good as it's going to get right here you're seeing what it looks like right here all we want to see it do is go short now and when it goes short we jump in and go for a hundred ticks and it's going to do the exact opposite of what everybody thinks it's going to do or what it looks like it's going to do. It looks like it's going to go up. Everybody's buying going long on the break. You do the complete opposite and go all the way down and go red. Watch. Looking for a signal. Okay, got a short entry. Stop's going to be placed to 69, stand by, 69.38, re-verifying the stop. 69.38. Okay, stop set to 69.38. Twenty two ticks on the stop there. Taking a look at the code. Okay, s we have a possible offset in place. But for you uh charting subscribers, you know it's gonna go down. Mathematically, you know that. So that offset should probably not hold and it's gonna go down here. but we do have mathematically an offset in place okay offset about to be broken we want to see it break of course okay it looks like it's going to break the offset okay it has so offset is no longer uh, a concern uh, well, I shouldn't say that it could still be offset, but the initial offset is no longer a concern. Um, for you uh, charting subscribers, uh, this is a textbook grade A perfect trade. It's going to drop out 
How far it's going to drop out, I cannot say at the moment. It's going to go down to the bottom of the bar and go red, so it's at least going to go down to 68.33. My exit for 100 ticks, oh, well, I can just do it. My exit is at 68.16. And this, the bottom here, measuring the wrong bar, is 68.33. So it's got to go red for in order for my exit to hit down there. But I think it's going to go red and go red down to maybe about 68 or so. I made a mistake on the stop. The stop is supposed to be at 69.26. I don't know what on earth I was thinking. Yes, confirmed. 69.26 on the stop. That's a 10 tick stop right there. I really don't know what I was thinking. I really don't. I must have been looking at the wrong, the wrong thing. Well, anyway, it doesn't matter now. It's it's on its descent down now. So so now you see on the daily. Now look, like magic. Whoa! It's going to do what I said it's going to do and go red down. Well, once it gets below this green, it'll go red. But it's going to go all the way down to the bottom here and perhaps a bit lower, maybe down to around 68 or so. My exit is at, uh, what, uh, 68.16. So that puts me down good for 100 ticks right there, 68.16. You see, you know, <coughs> this really isn't that hard. You know, it's just basically, it's like... It's not as easy as it looks, and it's not as hard as you might think. It's somewhere in the middle, you know. The, the, the main thing, the learning of it is really not that hard. But you need to practice it. You need to put it into practical use and practice it. Then you really get good. Then when you're good, then you can come in and do all the trading you need or want and do really super well. Like right here. Let's go take a look at the 10 minute. You're the kind of trader who looks at this right here and you go, oh, I got to get out. Take the, take the profit. Take the profit. Like let's say you see up here and, you, and you're, you're concentrating on this, the money. And all of a sudden it goes back to 1200 and you were at 1800 just a second ago. You get scared and you want to get out because you're concentrating on the money rather than the chart. I mean, even if this were trading, you would want to concentrate on the chart, not the money. But since this is even more controlled, than, or even more better than just a chart, it's actually controlled by a computer. I know that's hard to believe, but it's actually true. And you can know what it's going to do before it does it. And by virtue of that, it actually gives you something that you can really learn that will really work and really help you to take not only the right entries but to hold it for the right exits. Imagine you get out here with five contracts and you get 1800 and you think oh wow it's so fantastic but if you just would have held it for mm, 30 more minutes, 60 more minutes, maybe even 120 more minutes, it doesn't matter but let's just say 30 minutes to two hours, probably more like 30 minutes probably more like 10 minutes it's going to be at 5,000 all you have to do is just hold it and you say well how do you know it will go down 100 tick because it's built in to the code see if something is already pre-programmed and you know what that program is you know what it's going to be worth and that 100 ticks is already built in already built in with many times a nice buffer on top of it you know like it would actually go 120 140 but you just taken a hundred now the one thing that I don't want to do however is let it come really close to my exit and doesn't hit and then I don't get out that I don't want to do so but it's still got a long ways to go and uh, it needs to break the bottom below here which it's probably going to do within, you know, five, ten more minutes. 
and it's going to make a nice move down it'll make a nice move down right into my exit as if I were you know some sort of a genius uh, well it's, it's not genius to know you know the code and take an entry and, and, and hold it for a nice profit because not because because you know you can get it or you know that, that there's a good chance you can get it. Now, for those of you watching this right here, right now, the reason why I'm letting you watch it is because I want to make a, a, a point. Like I said earlier, when it was way up here, I said, this is what I call a perfect, a perfect one, a perfect news day entry. And then it's going to drop out. And then this is what it's done. It's dropped out. And it's still not done dropping out. So my point is, is that when you see it like this, hold it for a good trade. There's a possibility. Now, let's go take a look at the daily and let's say, okay, where could it go? Well, it could go down to 68, no problem. C could it go lower than that? Yes, it could. It could go 67, 60 down here. It is a possibility. It could go down this low. Could even go lower. But I'd say about 68 is a good target right there. And I'm at 68.16. So I'm sitting right at a good mathematical target. Now, if you, the lower you go, the worse your math is going to get. Let's say your math was at 75% um, at 68. As soon as you start taking it down, especially down to 67.60, your math is going to be reduced to something like... Forty percent. So you're going to go from like seventy percent down to forty percent. That really seriously reduces your math. Now there are times to go for it. When would be such a time to go for it? Well, today is sort of the day you would want to go for it. Why? Well, now let's look at it. It's just gone straight down. Look at look at the one minute. Look at it. Just gone straight down. Every minute. You know these are these are all like minute bars or. Yeah, whatever. They're minute bars, and they look at all of them. They just go straight down, each one. Boom, 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 boom. Not too hard to hold on to a trade like that. Um, and those are usually always your big ones when they do that. You don't want to get rid of them. Ten minute, you can see it on the ten minute, and then on the daily. You see it just rolling over. We're still towards the bottom of the bottom right here. It's a beautiful red, beautiful bar. Everything, all all green lights on this thing. And I said that, that this was like perfect way up here. How do I know? Just because of the code too? No. Also because of the chart. I've seen it do that, you know, a thousand times. Literally, I've seen it do it a thousand times. So, it doesn't take too long to, uh, no, I could go for more ticks right here. No problem. It's worth it. It's, it's, uh, it's a mathematical gamble to go for it right here. But I'm not. I'm just going to go for the 100 because I just want to show how you can make really good, highly successful trades using the code 2, using the Newsday entry, which is part of the code 2, to make mathematical trades that are very, very high percentage trades. That's what I'm trying to show here. If I wanted to go for more the math would be reduced because it because what could happen is is we're getting a rollover uh, the charts gonna set up for a rollover code that could also be a roll up code it could start going back bounce back up a bit and come back up and make me wait a longer period of time before it finally goes down lower I don't want to wait I want to get out almost there still I'm watching the code one right now we're still in good shape I would like to see a code one go short here. It's about to do it. If it goes short, it'll hit my exit. If it goes long, it's going to bounce. I'm going to use this code one as an entry, as an exit, or as a, um, or it's going to get me out if it goes short. Watching it. Okay, it looks like it's going to go long. It is. Okay, I'm out. I'm out right there. I'm just going to take that trade and run for the day. Nice little controlled trade. Now, if I wanted to hold on to it, the chances of me being able to get 
my exit is very, 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 very high. But I just don't want to wait because it could bounce back up quite a bit. It could be another half hour, another hour before I can get out. And I don't want to wait. Anyway, it could have just as easily gone down a little bit lower than the 20. Or, went, yeah, it went down to 20. Just a little bit lower. Four more ticks. Probably would need to go more, five more ticks to get the ask to come down to the bid. But five more ticks down, I would have gotten out for 100. Close, but no cigar. But many times it will. You know, just because it doesn't do it one time, you don't change your game plan. If you always have just one game plan, and your game plan is you're going to try to hit those hundreds, when you do hit them, which I came so close, they really pay off. So that's, how you, that's why you see me play it like that. I played it just about every way, and I found that that's the way is the best way to play in the long run. Anyway, I'm all done for today. Uh, all of you co-traders, especially you charting subscribers, should have easily hit the trade today. You should be sitting at your computers going, yes, 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 I love this code. It is just too easy. Too easy. You know, actually, it is too easy. You know, trading is supposed to be more, it's supposed to be harder than this and more challenging than this. But, uh, yeah, it is what it is. We'll have to suffer with it. And, uh, just make make money from it anyway I am gonna get going hope all of you traders are doing well hope all of you code traders hit today's trade it doesn't get any easier than that and I will see you for tomorrow we know what the code is for this week and we'll be able to nail the trades for the rest of the week all because of knowing the code oh by the way you know there's gonna be another entry here I could easily take it why don't I go ahead and do it? I'll go ahead and take another entry. I'll be right back. On second thought, let me not do it. I really need to take a break from the computer and from trading a bit because my eyes and stuff are getting strained from it and everything. Gotta be careful. Bal balance your life out. Don't just do just trading because it'll really tear up your eyes and stuff. And you, know, you really need to get out, not just trade. I know what that's like. I did it for many, many years. You really don't want to make a habit of that. Even though that's probably how I broke the codes, just by doing that. But uh, anyway, hope all of you traders hit the trade. I will see you tomorrow for some more code trading. Happy trading out there.